struggling with lag and stuttering due to high CPU usage while gaming, here are the results before and after applying the tweaks that I will show you in this video. Today, I'm going to show you some powerful tweaks that will drop that CPU usage and give you a smoother, more responsive gaming experience. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button. Let's get into it. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear up booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download gear up booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. In the first step guys, we will create a performance monitor to track and optimize CPU performance for better gaming. Open Windows search and type performance. From the search results, click on performance monitor. On the left hand menu, expand data collector sets by double clicking on it. Then click on user defined, right click on it and select new data collector set. Name it CPU, optimizer and choose the option. Create manually, then click next. On the next screen, check the option performance counter, then click next. Now click add and in the window that appears, make sure processor is selected. Below that, select the maximum available instances. For example, on my system, it shows seven, so I will select seven. Once selected, click next, then finish. Now you will see CPU optimizer has been added, but it will show as stopped. To start it, right click on CPU optimizer and click start. Once done, you can close the window. In the next step, we will disable unnecessary permissions and features. Disabling these reduces background processes and system resource usage, which can lead to improved CPU performance. Go to the search bar on your taskbar, type privacy and security, and select it from the results to open the settings. Once you're in the privacy and security section, start by reviewing the options under Windows permissions. Carefully evaluate each setting and disable any permissions that you find unnecessary. Begin with the general tab, where you should turn off all the listed permissions, as they typically include options that allow apps to track your activity or show personalized ads. After completing this, proceed to other sections like speech, typing and personalization, and diagnostic and feedback. In each of these, disable any features or options that aren't essential for your system usage, such as speech recognition or diagnostic data sharing. Next, scroll down to the app permissions section, where you'll find a list of individual applications and their associated permissions. Review each category, such as location, camera, microphone, voice activation, contacts, and calendar. For example, if you don't use location services, turn them off entirely. Similarly, for apps you don't rely on, such as those for email, tasks, messaging, or radios, disable their permissions to prevent unnecessary background activity. By doing so, you can ensure that your system isn't allocating resources to unused features, which contributes to better performance and efficiency. Now guys, we will disable Hyper-V services. Disabling it can help improve system performance by freeing up resources. Type Turn Windows Features On or Off into the search bar and select the option that appears to open the Windows Features window. In this window, scroll down and locate the Hyper-V option. Uncheck the box next to Hyper-V to disable it. After unchecking, click OK to apply the changes. You may be prompted to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. If so, click Restart Now or manually restart your system to complete the process. Disabling Hyper-V will help reduce unnecessary system overhead if you're not using this virtualization feature. Alright guys, the next step is to download the CPU Optimization Pack. You can find the download link on my website, check the description for details. To support the channel and website, there are some ads on the site. Just skip them and make sure to download the actual RAR file. Alternatively, you can also download it directly from our Discord server. Once you've downloaded the pack, extract it to your desktop and open the CPU optimization folder. Inside, you'll find several files that need to be installed one by one. Take your time and ensure all files are properly installed. Next, open the CPU priority folder. Here, you'll see two subfolders, one for Intel CPUs and another for AMD CPUs. Choose the folder that matches your processor type. If you're using an Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and install the respective file. Similarly, if you're using an AMD CPU, open the AMD folder and install that file. Once that's done, 
install the Quick Boost application included in the pack. This tool is designed to instantly enhance your CPU performance with just a few clicks. After installing Quick Boost, your system will be ready to handle tasks more efficiently and deliver improved performance. Now let's tweak some settings. Start with the general tab in the settings. Enable exclusive full screen mode and turn on the Xbox game bar. Then disable startup telemetry to enhance privacy and performance. Don't forget to disable mouse acceleration, which is a crucial tweak for improving aim precision in competitive games like Fortnite or other battle royales. After that, disable power saving mode to unlock maximum performance from your Windows power plan. Apply the system profile fix to further enhance system stability and performance. Next, disable unnecessary system services. This is a key step in reducing background resource consumption. After completing this step, head to the advanced tab. Here, disable power throttling to prevent your system from limiting performance during intensive tasks. You'll also see options like memory tweaks and BCD tweaks. It's best to leave these settings untouched unless you're experienced with advanced configurations. Next, it's time to clean up your system. Remove temporary files and junk data to free up valuable disk space. Click on clean temporary files and a window will appear. Your screen might briefly go black or white during the process. This is normal. Simply click OK when prompted and wait for the cleanup to finish. It might take a few minutes to clear all the unnecessary files. After completing all these steps, close the application and your PC should be optimized for better performance and smoother gaming. Now guys, install one of the best applications, Park Control, to get the maximum performance out of your CPU. Once you have the Park Control application open, scroll down and select the profile you want. Click on Bitsum Highest Performance. Next, make sure that Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency Scaling DC are all disabled and set to 100. Then click on Bitsum Dynamic Boost and make sure this is enabled. What this setting does is disable threads that aren't in use when you're doing lighter tasks like browsing. However, when you're gaming, it will enable all threads to optimize performance. In the Power Options, make sure you select Bitsum Highest Performance. This will maximize your CPU performance for the best FPS. Ensure everything is set to 100% for maximum performance, then click Make Active and Apply. In the next step, guys, we will tackle your CPU usage by optimizing Windows startup to reduce unnecessary background processes, free up CPU resources, and improve overall performance during gaming. First, go to the Start menu, search for MS Config, and open it. Inside, one tweak you can try is navigating to the Boot tab, clicking on Advanced Options, unlocking the number of processors, and setting it to the maximum number. However, keep in mind that this setting doesn't directly improve CPU performance. It's just a test option for power users. So, while it doesn't boost your FPS, it won't hurt to enable it. Simply click OK. Now, to actually help with the CPU bottleneck, head over to the Services tab. Check Hide All Microsoft Services, then go through the list and uncheck any services that are unnecessary during startup. For example, I've unchecked all unnecessary services. Once you've unselected the unnecessary ones, click Apply. Next, go to the Startup tab, open Task Manager, and repeat the process. Right-click on any program that you don't want to run at startup and select Disable. Once finished, close Task Manager, click OK, and exit without restarting. Let's move on to disabling unnecessary services that may be causing high CPU usage. To do this, go to the Windows search bar, type Services, and click on the Services option. This will open a list of background services that are consuming valuable CPU resources. We'll go through these and turn off the ones that aren't needed, such as connected user experiences and telemetry. This service sends usage and diagnostic data to Microsoft, which can be safely disabled if you don't want it. Simply right-click on it, go into Properties, and change the startup type from Automatic to Disabled. Afterward, click Apply and then OK. Another service to disable is Downloaded Maps Manager. If you don't use maps on your PC, you can safely turn this off. Similarly, if you don't use a printer, you can disable the Print Spooler service. The Windows Biometric service is for devices with fingerprint scanners, so if you're using a desktop and don't need it, feel free to disable it. Below that, you'll find the Windows Insider service, which provides early access to Windows updates. If you're not signed up for this program, or don't need early access, go ahead and disable it as well. 
You can go through the list of services and turn off any that you don't need, but it's important to be cautious. Some services, like Bluetooth, might be essential without you realizing it. Disabling the Bluetooth service, for example, will stop Bluetooth functionality, so make sure you research what each service does before turning it off. A little research now can save you from potential issues later on. Another useful step to optimize your CPU is to reduce unnecessary graphical effects in Windows. This step helps lower system resource usage by disabling unnecessary visual effects, enhancing performance during high demand tasks like gaming. Begin by typing adjust into the search bar and selecting adjust the appearance and performance of Windows from the results. Press enter to open the settings window. In the new window, choose the custom option to manually configure the visual settings. From the list of effects, ensure that the boxes for show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts are checked. These settings help maintain functionality and readability. Once done, click apply to save the changes. By disabling unnecessary animations and visual effects, this adjustment reduces the strain on system resources, resulting in improved performance, particularly during gaming or other resource intensive tasks. Then go to the Advanced tab and adjust how your processor resources are allocated. Under Processor Scheduling, ensure it is set to prioritize programs rather than background services. This ensures that your system focuses on active tasks, such as gaming or streaming, rather than background processes. For example, if you're playing a demanding game like Fortnite or any other, the system will allocate more resources to enhance your gaming experience. Under the Virtual Memory section, click on the Change button. Here, you'll see an option labeled Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Deselect this option to manually adjust the settings. Now, select your local disk C colon, as this is where the virtual memory will be allocated. In the Custom Size fields, set the initial size to 1361 megabytes, as this value is optimized for performance. For the maximum size, you need to calculate the appropriate value based on your total RAM size. Open the calculator on your computer and multiply your total RAM in gigabytes by 1024 to convert it into megabytes. For example, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, multiply 16 with 1024 and you will get 16384 value. Now, divide this number by 2, which gives 8192 and enter this value in the maximum size field. Once you've entered the values, click on the set button to confirm the changes, then hit OK to apply them. All right, let's start by cleaning up your system to enhance CPU optimization and reduce unnecessary processes. Begin by closing all programs on your desktop to ensure nothing interferes with the process. After that, press the Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type temp and press Enter which will take you to the folder containing temporary Windows files. Once you're there, press Ctrl plus A to select all the files and then hit delete to remove most of them. Don't be concerned if some files can't be deleted. That's normal and typically means they're either in use or protected by the system. Next, we'll repeat this process for another set of temporary files. Open the Run dialog box again by pressing Windows key plus R, type percent temp percent and press Enter. This will open a different folder with more temporary files. As before, press Ctrl plus A to select all the files, then click Delete. Some files might still not be deleted, but that's totally fine. This simple cleanup will help free up space and boost your system's performance by reducing the load on your CPU. To fix high usage of CPU in games, the next step is to disable power throttling in Windows, as it is often the primary cause of this issue. Begin by pressing Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type gpedit.msnc and press Enter to launch the local group policy editor. Once inside, navigate to Computer Configuration, then go to Administrative Templates and click on System. Scroll down to find Power Management and select Power Throttling Settings. Here, you will see an option labeled Turn Off Power Throttling. Enable this setting, then click Apply and hit OK to save the changes. That's all for today, guys. Hopefully, you found this guide helpful. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.